Way back in February of this year, Spider, an American Bits and Blade producer, told us they had some new bits that were strong, durable, and extra long lasting. Also, blue and purple. So we posted a video about them and sure enough, being blue and purple means over 60,000 people will watch a drill bit video. But there was something that bothered us about them. Spider claimed that they could outlast their competitors by 100 times. That seemed stupid. But after a quick search, we realized no one was really testing this kind of long-term durability. Well, and now I know why. We decided to drive to Home Depot and Lowe's and bought every bit that claimed it could drill through metal. As it turns out, every bit we bought was made in China with one exception. This DeWalt bit was made in Germany for some reason. Only the spider was made right here in the good old US of A. Interesting. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Rob. First, let's talk about the bits we decided to test. On the low end, we had black oxide and titanium bits from Ryobi. Some black oxide from Bosch, titanium and cobalt bits from Milwaukee, four different bits from DeWalt, and the mock blues from Spider. To test these bits, we got some 1045 steel, put it in a vise, and then used a Milwaukee 2806 with one key so we could guarantee a consistent RPM. I dragged my brother into this as well, so I wouldn't be the only one suffering, and I'm glad I did. We used a scale to familiarize ourselves with 40 pounds of pressure, and then did our best to remain consistent. Not a perfect test, but something designed to better imitate what you guys would do if you bought these bits, which is to say, You'd put them in a drill and you'd drill a hole. So with everything in place, we put our first piece of quarter inch 1045 steel in the vise and started drilling. First up was the Ryobi black oxide drill bit and it got zero, zero holes. That wasn't just disappointing, it was downright confusing. I refused to believe it, so we grabbed a second bit. We bought several of each. The second one drilled a hole, that's better. And then three more, but then it was done. Now I want you to really think about that. How could two identical bits be that different? One fails to drill a single hole, while the other, well, does four. That's an infinite difference. After some research, I discovered that the cheaper the bit, the less likely the consistency between them. But I don't have time to test 10 of each. So we decided to do the rest with whichever bit we pulled out of the packaging. The real test was going to be the expensive bits anyways, which should be more consistent. Still, knowing that, why would you ever buy a cheap bit? We'll have to address that a little later. All right, back to the test. We grabbed the other Ryobi bit. This one is the Speedload Plus Titanium Hex Shank Drill Bit. It got zero. We started to wonder if we chose the wrong metal, but then Milwaukee took a turn. First up, the Shockwave Titanium Twist Drill Bit. This was what we were waiting for. The Milwaukee dove into the steel like it hadn't been fed in a week. Hole after hole went by and it wasn't slowing down. We were able to fit 72 holes in a plate and it still wasn't done. So we put on a new one and kept going. When the bit was done, it had made 90 holes. It was already nearly 22 times longer lasting than the Ryobi Black Oxide. Not bad at all. Next, we grabbed the other Milwaukee bit. This one's a Cobalt Red Helix. Now we're talking. The drill fired up and the plates fell down. 72 holes, 144 holes, 216 holes, 288 holes, finally giving out after drilling 318 holes. Nearly 80 times better than the Ryobi. That spider claim is starting to seem more realistic at this point. With Milwaukee standing on top of the hill, we decided to try out the Bosch. This is another black oxide HSS twist bit. But unlike the Ryobi, this one finished with 119 holes. Not bad. Not good enough, but still not bad. So we moved on to DeWalt. Now this is where things got really interesting. Or confusing, depending on your level of frustration. Mine was high. We had four DeWalt bits, the cheapest being this black and gold split point. At half the price of the Milwaukee bits, I wasn't expecting much, but it's still clocked in with 67 holes, which is great for $2.27. But then I tried the next step up. This is the titanium twist bit. At $4, it should do better, right? Well, it did. This bit should have done a bit better, but for reasons I can't explain, it did way better. 144 holes, 288 holes, 432 holes. Yeah, we just flew past the Milwaukee and it wasn't done. It still drilled 40 more holes for a total of 472. Why? I have no idea. This got even weirder when I tried the next step up. Another DeWalt titanium twist bit that was $5 and it did two. Two holes. And then it just wouldn't dig anymore. It just spun. 
We didn't change anything about the way we were drilling. We used it just like you would have. And if you had purchased this $5 bit instead of me, you would have got two holes too. And that would have sucked. And that leads us back into that issue. I really wanted to grab another bit and try again, but what would that teach us? What if the next copy of that bit did 100 or 400 holes? What would we learn? Gee, I hope you get a good one, guys, because you might get two holes. Nope had to move on. The last two bits were the big contenders. At least they were if Spiders and DeWalt's advertising was to be believed. Now we've used Spider saw blades for a while now, and they're great. We've got nothing but good experience with them on our Make or Break show, but we didn't know anything about their bits. What we do know is that of all these bits, Spider is the only one made right here in the USA. Now, we hear from a lot of you guys that you want to made in the USA tools. And the reality is you can only make some tools in the USA at a competitive price and bits, well, they just happen to be one of them. And in theory, using metal from here can make a big difference in reliability and performance. And Spider's prices on their new Mach Blue is right in line with the best cobalt bits we tested, including this one. This is the DeWalt Cobalt Twist drill bit. It's the most expensive DeWalt bit at 558, just behind the 598 of the Spider. But there's something else special about that DeWalt. While the Spider was made in the USA and the rest of the bits we tested were all made in China, this DeWalt bit is made in Germany. So before we find out what the Germans can do, we decided it was time to test Spider's 100X claim. So we chucked it up and let it loose. After the very first hole, my brother turned to me and said, yeah, that's different. He said it felt easier than the bits before, but maybe that was just a placebo effect of that pretty purple and blue color. The first plate fell quickly, and then the next. 216 holes, 288, 360, 432, and finally it passed the 472 of the DeWalt Titanium, giving up at 481 holes, 120 times better than Ryobi. With its 100X claim intact, Spider took its place at the top of the heap with only one competitor left the German-made bit from an American company. This is the DeWalt Cobalt Twist. If it made less than 481 holes, Spider would win. And it made two. And then 70 more. Then 144, 216, 360, 432, and then 556. The German made 15% more holes than the American. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I really wanted Spider to win, not just because they were cocky or because the bit was cool looking, but because being made in the USA, it just kind of feels like it's ours. I love power tools. And the fact is I can rarely find truly fantastic power tools made here, but these bits, well, I just wanted them to win. But here's the thing. There were a lot of options at both Lowe's and Home Depot. Some were cheap and ended up low on our charts. Some were more expensive and ended up at the top. The Milwaukee, 318 holes. The DeWalt did 472, the Spider did 481, and the DeWalt did 556. All similar in price, and each one did a commendable job, but only one is ours. Some of you won't care. Some of you will care a lot. I'm just happy that in this case, if I wanted to, I could choose an American-made product for a similar price and get top performance. And I think that's something. So, what do you guys think? Does Made in the USA mean that much to you? Would you choose the DeWalt or the Spider? I want to know in the comments below. For now, I'm going to take a break from drilling. If I'm being honest, I may never drill again. If you enjoyed this test, give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I do hope that you consider subscribing. Don't forget to join us this and every Friday for the Power Tool Week in Review. I'll see you then.